we were all talking and having a normal conversation in the car, when all of a sudden the voices stopped. I no longer heard the voices and laughter of my friends. All I heard was ringing in my ears. My vision was hazy and we were spinning out of control. When the rain stopped and my senses came back, I realized we had been hit. I tried to scream, but nothing will come out. Eventually, words did come out. I asked, is everyone okay? No one responded. Again, I asked, is everyone okay? And again, no one responded. All I saw was, was three of my friends were severely injured. I mean, there was nothing I could do to help them. I screamed for help, they could not come soon enough. I rushed with ambulances, fire trucks, and bystanders surrounded the scene. I saw the car completely demolished. And still I saw no movement from any of them. I knew that there was a chance I might, may not see any of them again. The next morning I was told my best friend did not survive. And the other two were in very bad condition. I had to go to the funeral of my best friend without my other best friend, Pat, to cry with. I had to go back to Kent State to an empty dorm room because Pat, my roommate, was in the hospital. I spent every night wide awake laying in our room wondering why this all had to happen. This accident had direct effect on the next few months of my life. I completely blew my opportunity to graduate from Kent State. I stopped going to class, didn't even take my final exams, started getting into trouble, and eventually could not finish. My depression was so bad I didn't even care the decisions I was making and what all this would do to my future. All I cared about was trying to numb the pain, which was literally impossible. Now I live back at home, just a football field away from the exact spot where my best friend was killed. I have to drive over that spot every day and be reminded of the horror when he went through that night. I have to go to AJ's house to visit his family who misses him so dearly. They have to walk past his empty bedroom every day knowing that he won't be coming out. His niece no longer has her amazing uncle who loves her more than anything in this world. I go to my friend's house on the weekend and AJ is missing from the group. And because of Mark Rouch, we will never have him back. Mark didn't just take one life that day. He single-handedly destroyed the lives of so many people. So many people love and care for AJ. So many people's lives are affected by this accident every single day. AJ had his whole life ahead of him, and Mark's disregard for other people's safety took that opportunity away from him. I believe Mark Rouse deserves the most severe punishment he can get. I will never forgive him for the mess he has made and the lives he has destroyed. I will never forgive him for killing my best friend.